Hello everyone, my name is Jason Parker and welcome back to this channel about magic. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new performance on America's Got Talent, but first I have a little piece of magic that I'd like to share with you. And I do have to ask, are you watching closely? If you thought that was cool, please consider the idea of annihilating the like button right now. And if you actually want to learn how to do that yourself, it is doable and I've made a tutorial teaching how on my Patreon. You can help support this channel against the constant YouTube demonetization. And as my way of saying thank you, there is a growing list of magic tutorials and life updates on there. Behind the scenes stuff like my film setup or how I make my eggs in the morning. Real quality content. Proceeding forward, today we are taking a look at Leah Kyle. She is a French magician and I've actually actually previously reacted to her act before when she performed on Fool Us. I will put a link to her previous performance in the pinned comment below. As far as I understand it, Leah will be bringing her quick change magic act to the AGT stage. And I am curious to take a look and see what things she has changed or what she has not. So let's just go ahead and take a look, shall we? Nervous oh, about I'm it? so nervous. Really nervous? Wait, 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 wait. My name is Leah Kyle, I'm 25 years old, and I'm a quick change artist. I always love fashion. I'm so excited to meet Heidi Klum, because she is the queen of fashion. I became a beautician. It wasn't my dream job, but it was a way for me to make a living. Eight years ago, I met my boyfriend, Florian. Last year, he was in American's Got Talent. One day, Florian asked me to perform with him. It was my first time on stage. Being very shy, it was a real challenge for me. I was so nervous, but seeing the audience react was incredible. I decided to combine my two passions. Performing and fashion. I made just enough money to buy the fabrics and make my costumes. Florian is my biggest supporter. I love you. I'm proud of you. I love you too. We're ready for you on stage now. So even though I'm still extremely nervous, this is my moment and I'm ready. What's your name? Uh, by the way, those of you who are new here may not realize that I've already interviewed Florian Sanve, her boyfriend. See, first he was on America's Got Talent, which you saw some clips of. I made a reaction video to that. Link in the pinned comment below. Then Leah appeared on Fool Us. I reacted to her. Link in the pinned comment below. And then finally, when Florian was going to be on Fool Us also, I reached out and directly spoke with him, and we decided it'd be really cool to have a magician interview. That's what we did. And can you guess what? Link in the pinned comment below. Unfortunately, you won't be able to view it if you're in the United States because it's partially blocked due to copyright issues. However, if you happen to have some technology like, oh, I don't know, a VPN, and you're able to somehow suddenly seem as if you were living in Germany, then you would be able to watch it. This would be a great moment if this video were sponsored by some VPN company for me to plug that. 17% off your first three months if you use Jason Parker Magic coupon code. Unfortunately, no such sponsorship exists. Hello darkness, my old friend. At any rate, both Florian and Leah are both fantastic people. Very kind, very creative. Both times I've seen them perform, they've done exceedingly well. Let's just continue. My name is Leah Kyle. Where are you from, Leah? I come from France. Ah, wow. from Paris? Now from Bordeaux, the wine city. <laughs> so what brings you to America's Got Talent? I hope America's Got Talent will change my life. My big dream is to have my own show in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean for you to be here? It means um, everything. <laughs> no, it's not. Sorry, I don't speak English. No, yeah. that was. A, yeah, I understood was a the answer. answer. The yeah, answer was good right. Answer. Well, I'm very excited to see what you're going to do. I see already a lot of glitzy, gorgeous dresses over there. <laughs> yes. Good luck to you. Thank you. Let's do it. Well, 
that's new. Pretty sure. If I remember correctly, on the Foolless performance, you can check it out, pinned comment below, she actually held up some kind of white flower, and then the petals slowly started falling off of it, and then the pieces of her dress fell off like the petals of the flower. It was some kind of symbolism happening there. And I'm not quite sure the significance of why they changed that up here to make these red rectangles appear. Hmm. Why did they do that? Do you have any idea? Leave a comment in the comments below. That's where comments go. Back to the act. <laughs> so cool. This dress, right here. What? Yeah, that's amazing. It looks so great. <laughs> okay, I'll give you my thoughts before we hear from the judges. By the way, I like how Heidi blurts out at the end, It's magic! Oh really? Is that what we're watching here? Hmm. Or maybe she meant to say, it's a magic. Then I would totally get why she said that, because that's normal. At any rate, it looks like it's primarily the same concept for the act. I do remember when I interviewed Florian that he said that his robot dream act, which is amazing, as he was performing it over the months and over the years, he would adjust and change little pieces to improve it as time went by. So I guess that's what she's been doing here as well. And I do feel like the Fool Us performance was maybe a little bit longer and had maybe a few more magic effects built into there. But yeah, I guess it, Pretty much has all the important parts, the uh, the glitter, the item on the rack flying onto her, which I thought that was one of the coolest things I'd ever seen before. Definitely the best in the quick change category. And even that thing with that big flower where she's moving it like this and just drags it across her body and immediately changes, that was fantastic. All right, let's hear what the judges have got to say and then I'll give you a few more thoughts. Here's your microphone. The best I've ever seen. I mean, Holly, that's so excited next to me. Yes. You're like, whoa, whoa. Because I gotta tell you, we've seen quick change artists on the show. I've never seen one better than you. Oh, thank you so much. Absolutely. It's true. No, it is true because to see the outfit fly in thin air from the hanger to you, it's magic, and your presentation is beautiful. Thank you. I am so like in shock. You were having a great time while you were doing it. It was beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Simon! I think normally when we see this kind of act, there's always two people normally in the act. Yes. And the music's terrible. This was like very, very cool. And you have amazing showmanship. It was world class. Thank you so much. I loved it too. I mean, you were doing real magic. <laughs> It was absolutely incredible and flawless. I mean, you know how much I love fashion. And I feel like we've never really had anyone that is as good as you. No. So I feel like you should go straight to the live shows. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> Just adding some sound effects, in case they didn't have them already. Oh, 
she gonna get a hug from Heidi? Yep. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe no hug. <laughs> Social distancing at its finest. How do you feel right now? It's amazing. Well, I don't have a It's so crazy. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and give you my concluding thoughts about her performance. Well, obviously she did a great job. She got the golden buzzer. She's going straight on to the... Wait, where does the golden buzzer take you? Semi-finals? The finals? Whatever. It's a good thing. And it was great to see how emotional she was there at the end. Obviously, it really meant a lot to her. You know, although I guess since she got the golden buzzer, that means she's going to perform one less time on America's Got Talent, right? Because she gets to skip past some stage that she normally would have had to have a performance for. So while that's great for Leah, and that's super awesome, and congratulations, that also means we get to see one less of her performances. Hmm. <laughs> but... At the same same time, that's also a strategic advantage to her because now she can select the strongest of her acts. Third thing, I'm pretty sure I'm on three now. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be fantastic to see both Florian and Leah performing together? They're such great performers and artists. I would love to see some kind of combination. <laughs> Either they could make a, a new unique act or they could just combine their existing ones. She could be changing clothes and he would be in this robot suit, you know, <laughs> like making rings appear and disappear. I mean, that would be kind of funny just to see those two characters meet, like a crossover in the Marvel DC universe, like celebrity deathmatch, except they love each other. Number five. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about code talk or methodology behind how she did anything. In fact, because I already gave some code talk, and my reaction to her foolish performance. It's in the pinned comment below, <laughs> you know where to look. But anyway, number six, the whole thing here is about her performance. The beauty of it, the creativity. Yes, the magic is certainly a portion, maybe like 50%, and the other 50% is the concept. And all together, it's just a fun, cool experience. Even if you can guess how a few things might have worked, that she does it so fast and so skilled, like so rehearsed that it just kind of boom. When you're not rewinding and watching it in slow motion, when you're watching it in real time, like boom, boom, boom. That's how real time goes. Then it looks like magic. Point number seven. I just realized that there's been like a record number of magicians on this America's Got Talent. I think this is six magicians already. Breaking the record for the most number of magicians to ever compete in America's Got Talent, I guess. I'm too lazy to verify if that's true or not. Leave a comment below if you remember a season where there were more magicians. And point number eight. <laughs> you remember that magic trick I performed at the beginning of the video? Don't forget to check out my Patreon if you're interested in learning that. Sorry, I hate to be promoting my Patreon nonstop. I'm just trying to exist in this YouTube world. And it ain't easy. It ain't easy. So what's that? Oh, it's time for the Aesop's Fable. Randomly selecting a story. Chapter 130, The Prophet. It's a short one, ladies and gentlemen. A prophet sat in the marketplace and told the fortunes of all who cared to engage his services. Suddenly there came running up one who told him that his house had been broken into by thieves and that they had made off with everything they could lay hands on. He was up in a moment and rushed off, tearing his hair and calling down curses on the miscreants. The bystanders were much amused and one of them said, our friend professes to know what is going to happen to others, but it seems he's not clever enough to perceive what's in store for himself. I suppose this points out the value of fortune tellers, palm readers, mystics, which is to say that they're garbage. No offense to the palm readers, fortune tellers, and mystics out there. But to everyone else, don't waste your money. <laughs> Yeah, that is a good point. Any person who professes to tell the future, you could easily wait around till there's a moment where they're shocked by some terrible event and then look at it and be like, well, if they can see the future... You know? I feel like this isn't a, <laughs> a lesson that's so applicable today because not many of us believe in palm reading and this kind of stuff. No offense to the people who are watching whose this belief is common with. Okay, but, but I am sensing some kind of core kernel of truth we can extract out of here that doesn't apply to mystics. That being, if you're gonna hire a professional, if you're gonna hire someone to 
redesign the interior of your house, for example, really try to observe some real world proof or evidence of their past behavior as it is often a good predictor of their future behavior. Wow, barely got through with that one. So thank you all for being here, for joining me for this reaction video. What did you think about Leah Kyle's performance? I would love to see your comments below. Did you notice any other differences between her performance on Fool Us versus her AGT performance? And what do you think she's gonna do next? How is she going to up the ante with quick change magic? Because it seems like she already like cranked the scale to 11. So, you know, I'm really curious to see what she does next. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope you're having a wonderful week. If you liked the video, click like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.